Imagine something so huge, so powerful, and so intense that it makes our sun look like a tiny spark. Now picture this monstrous star burning with such fury that it could blast entire solar systems apart. This isn't science fiction, it's real. Somewhere far out in the universe, astronomers have found the biggest and most terrifying star ever discovered. Its size, heat, and energy are beyond anything we can truly imagine. Before we dive deeper, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more mind-blowing space stories. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. When we look up at the night sky, the stars seem like little pinpricks of light. But in reality, each one of those twinkles is an enormous ball of fire, a cosmic furnace where nuclear reactions rage endlessly. Our sun is just one of these stars. Steady, reliable, and warm enough to give life to Earth. But among the stars, there are monsters, true giants that make our sun look small. These stars are so massive that if one of them sat where our sun is today, it could swallow not just Earth but entire orbits of planets, stretching out past Mars or even Jupiter. One of the most famous examples is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant in the Orion constellation. Betelgeuse is already gigantic, almost 900 times wider than the Sun. If it were placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond Mars. Yet, incredibly, Betelgeuse is not the biggest star. There are others far larger, like WHG 64, a true cosmic leviathan that may stretch up to 1,500 times the size of the Sun. That means if it sat where our Sun is, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. Just one single star, large enough to swallow half our solar system. And it's not just their size that's terrifying, it's their brightness. Our Sun gives just enough light and heat to sustain life on Earth. But these monster stars produce hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of times more energy. They burn so furiously that their lives are short. While the Sun will live for about 10 billion years, these stars last only a few million before collapsing in spectacular explosions. They live fast, burn bright, and die young. Many of these giants are born in strange places, like the Large Magellanic Cloud, a small galaxy orbiting our Milky Way. In these galaxies, the chemistry of the gas clouds is different. They have fewer heavy elements, making it easier for stars to grow far bigger than normal. Think of them as cosmic nurseries where monsters are born. Here, stars like the colossal Stevenson 2-18 have been discovered, stretching over 2,000 times the size of our Sun. To put that into perspective, if Stevenson 2-18 replaced our Sun, its surface would reach far past Saturn's orbit. Imagine a single star filling nearly the entire solar system. But such size comes with a cost. The bigger a star is, the faster it burns out. Gravity and radiation battle inside these stars every second, and sometimes the light they produce is so intense that it nearly tears them apart. This delicate balance is called the Eddington Limit. If the star shines too brightly, it literally begins to blow its own outer layers into space. One famous example is Eta Carinae, one of the most powerful stars ever observed, shining millions of times brighter than the Sun. In the 1800s it went through a massive eruption so violent that it briefly became the second brightest star in the night sky. Astronomers believe it's on its way to becoming a supernova, and maybe even a hypernova, one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. These giant stars don't just explode quietly. When they die, they can collapse into black holes or unleash gamma-ray bursts, beams of deadly radiation that can travel across galaxies. Luckily, none of these giant stars are close enough to threaten Earth. But the very idea of a single star wiping out life across entire regions of the galaxy is chilling. The fascinating thing is that these extreme stars also play a role in shaping the universe. Their explosions spread heavy elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron into space the very ingredients that make up planets, oceans, and even our own bodies. Without these colossal stars living fast and dying violently, life as we know it wouldn't exist. They are terrifying, yes, but also necessary. Even closer to us, stars like Betelgeuse keep astronomers on edge. Recently, Betelgeuse dimmed dramatically, leading many to wonder if it was about to explode into a supernova. While scientists believe that moment is still far off, maybe 100,000 years in the future, the day it happens, it will light up our skies so brightly that you could see it during the day. Imagine looking up at night and seeing a new sun, glowing like a second moon, except it's the dying breath of a star. What makes all of this so haunting is just how fragile these giants really are. For all their power, their lifespans are fleeting. They flare into existence, dominate their galaxies, and then vanish in explosions that reshape the cosmos. Compared to the steady warmth of our sun, they are unstable, wild, and unpredictable. They remind us that the universe is not gentle, it is a place of chaos, extremes, and forces beyond our imagination. 